We have a new mission, soldier. What is it? What's down there? A weapon. A weapon? How many guns do you need? It's been a very long time coming, but Halo Infinite finally releases December 8th. This game's free-to-play multiplayer will also come out November 15th this month, with a first-ever limited edition Xbox Series X consoles coming out on the same day. Uh, Halo Infinite's campaign, however, is included with Xbox Game Pass, which if you're subscribed to, will let you play the game on launch day for no additional cost. Now here's a new trailer. True Spartan freedom in the most wide open and adventure-filled Halo experience yet. But Chief won't be alone on the journey. His first mission is to retrieve a new AI, codenamed The Weapon. It's been six months, where have you been? Following the events of Halo 5, Master Chief is searching for the answer to a troubling question. What happened to Cortana? I was created to lock down Cortana, but I don't know why. What did she do that was so wrong? Order received, stand by. The answer is somewhere on Zeta Halo. A damaged world full of wonder, mystery, and danger. And at every turn, the Banished are hunting Master Chief and the remnants of the UNSC. Victory is already ours. We will meet on the battlefield. The banished army is spread across the surface, building fearsome strongholds and outposts with no one to stop them. Until now. Freddy Fazbear's Mega Pizzaplex is now closed, initiating nighttime protocols. No, no! Wait, I'm still here! So, Five Nights at Freddy's Security Bridge is now on its way to not only the PlayStation consoles, but Xbox as well. PC is also right up there as always, and we're hitting all five platforms December 16th this year. Not Switch, by the way. Security Bridge will be a first-person survival horror game, obviously, what developers describe as easily the most ambitious game in the series to date, and that we're not even sure if we're prepared. Check it out here. To escape when the security doors reopen at 6 a.m. Until then, keep moving and try not to draw attention to yourself. If there is another way out, I will help you find it. I promise. Seventeen just came out with the announcement that Themisia or Thymisia will hit the market December 7th and into PCs only. They even came out with a brand new trailer, showing off some souls like dope. Themis is an action RPG, as it is the case with most souls likes, which they weren't even shy with either, set in a world infested with plague, so you get to manipulate the enemies into your weapons. Check this out. Next up in our little list of a sci-fi nature goes by Chorus, 
an adventure game described as an evolution of the classic space shooter genre. The chorus was actually first announced May 2020, but we know it's been in the making for at least two years now. This game's finally coming to PCs, the PlayStation and Xbox consoles, as opposed to being a Microsoft exclusive from earlier this year and due out December 3rd. Check it out. Stoppable in combat. The rights. Inside each temple is a labyrinth of mind-bending mazes that hide horrifying trans-dimensional danger that you will need to conquer to reclaim Nara's power. Prepare for each battle by customizing your weapons. At space stations, you'll be able to upgrade, interchange, and customize your arsenal, ready for any battle. Feel every movement in combat with kinetic, tactical, and breathtaking gameplay, where every decision made could mean victory or destruction. The right of the senses, the hunt and the store. Chain these abilities together with Forsaken's attacks and unleash your true power on your enemies. Oh, I don't like this weather. I'm pretty sure the ship's insurance won't cover alien storm damage. Moving on, the Gunk, a video game in this case, an Xbox exclusive hell of an adventure, guys. Just by the looks of it, you can tell it ain't, it ain't no kid stuff. A co-op third-person adventure game where you get to clean booger and solve puzzles at the same time. Definitely something I've played, I don't know about you guys, but if you do too, this one's due out on December 16th, and here's what it's all about. <laughs> claims it's his fault that his daughter and her mother... There aren't any birth records connecting you to a daughter. ...driving when their car went off a cliff. You know, I've never watched Alfred Hitchcock's Vertigo. I've never been motivated to do so, but please do let me know if I should. Anyway, Alfred Hitchcock's Vertigo is being brought back to life with a video game adaptation that's touted as a mystery adventure. You probably didn't know is that the game is now coming to PCs December 16th with consoles coming out sometime next year. And just in case you've missed it... My room, my troubles... You got one hour. One. Because everyone treats me like I'm crazy. Dr. Lomas, it's Sheriff Reyes. Is Ed under investigation? Is he the suspect of a crime? What do you want to know? What do you want to tell me? Does she exist? Take talk, doctor. I'd like to show you a painting. A painting? Of someone I'm looking for. A girl who apparently looked like me. Indeed, she does look like you. So first off, if you've been following Siberia games since childhood like I did, but will somehow missed out on the last game in the series, there's a free playable prologue for that on Steam right now. However, Siberia The World Before in its full now has a release date of December 10th and which is in case you're new to if you like point and click games revolving around mysteries and a lot of secrets this is definitely one to keep an eye out for in my opinion so check this out expedition to some far away place in the east you were my last hope Like anything else in life, there has to be some compromise to get what one desires. It's like this painting has chosen me, but maybe I'm just kidding myself. There will always be a dream for you. In any case, I promised Katusha I would find her. And we'll find out who she is or was. Next up, one of the games I'm really actually hyped about in this list today, Solar Ash, which is a spiritual successor to Hyperlight Drifter by Annapurna Interactive. 
Christ is also coming out December 2nd. Well, Solar Ash has been in the making for three years now. It's a semi PlayStation exclusive since it's also coming to PCs. And just in case you have missed, this is how it looks like. Century vous permettra de chevaucher de puissants dragons qui s'affrontent en équipe de 3 contre 3 ou de 6 contre 6 au cours de matchs intenses. You all know Century Age of Ashes, co-op multiplayer dragon battles, fast-paced free-to-play? Yeah, quite unique. The game had a quick run through alphas and betas early when it even came out pretty legit. Anyway, Century Age of Ashes is now targeting PCs December 2nd, also releasing for basically all platforms except the Nintendo Switch sometime next year, with crossplay support of course. So check this out. Depuis notre dernière bêta fermée en mars, nous avons beaucoup progressé sur l'équilibrage, la maniabilité tant avec un clavier et une souris et qu'une manette, mais nous avons aussi développé un nouveau mode de jeu, le mode pillage. Voyez par vous-même. Le mode pillage oppose deux équipes de six dragonniers bataillant pour la ressource la plus précieuse en temps de guerre, l'or. Cette or est initialement portée par de paisibles créatures volantes. Lorsqu'elles sont touchées, elles libèrent des pièces qui peuvent être collectées et déposées dans vos coffres, s'ajoutant aux réserves de votre équipe. La faction ayant amassé le montant d'or le plus élevé à la fin d'une manche la remporte. Bien entendu, vos talents de cavalier seront mis à rude épreuve, car tout adversaire à proximité peut dérober votre butin en vous attaquant. Certains dragonniers préféreront donc chavarder... That which lives is destined to die. Love leads to loss. Every beginning has an end. On the other hand, Final Fantasy XIV's Endwalker expansion, which was supposed to be coming out this month on the 23rd day, is also postponed to December 7th now. Now this expansion is also said to be another beginning for the game for both new and old school fans of the series. So check this out. To accompany all of that, they even came out with a new trailer and apologized for at least like four, five hundred times. But neither do they. Not out here in the wind and the cold. That blue will be your guide. Test and proof of your conviction. In darkness, seek joy. Walk free and bear the light for others to follow. Last but not least, and not too long ago either, THU Nordic said they were releasing Spellforce 3 and this time going by Reforced, which is basically an enhanced edition of the original game with improved gameplay mechanics and added new DLC. Spellforce 3, for those of you who knew, is basically a real-time strategy, RPG, kind of hybrid, and now on its way to PCs this December on the 7th day. Then into PlayStation and Xbox consoles, both generation, early next year. Only a sacrifice by our queen achieved what none had thought possible, an end to the slaughter. Once more believe that their suffering has come to an end. They hope. They dream. A 
But the tides don't change.